I'm back again with another video, and today I'm going to be showing off these little guys, which are little tiny sketchbooks that I made when I went to Seattle for a vacation. And um, the last video that I just posted with my sketchbook was actually my last sketchbook that I finished, and I haven't had the um, time or money, I guess, to buy a new one. So I, ha I made all these little small ones, um, and they're cute I gotta say a lot of people use this style and format to um, make zines out of um, but for me I just made them for little cute uh, sketchbooks so I actually started this was the first one this was at the um, the airport which was quite nice actually um, so let's flip inside there was at the airport I just basically drew a lot of people show you guys all the stuff on here it was quite hectic that morning we got into a little trouble um with some things with uh like traffic and all things but um luckily we got to the airport safe and little drawings here they're not the best they're kind of me oops starting off but uh, it was a start number four this is number two so um, there was this guy at the airport who was waiting for his, um, I don't know, I think he was kind of arguing with the people. It was like this old guy about getting the rental car, so I just kind of drew him. And then my mom, yeah, she was desperate for snacks. Um, but my mom's always hungry. And then this one is our suitcase and luggage. You guys can pause and read what I wrote on here, but it's pretty accurate what I said and then we went to this really cool Chinese place our waiter was really nice um and then we had it was so nice because I wouldn't eat vegetables for like the rest of this entire week I was there so like having actually something that had somewhat like vegetables in it like Chinese spinach and things this was a fail mostly like really nice so I don't know I really I feel like oh I forgot this page <laughs> so yeah there's the food and then there's more food this is our breakfast um, and then, yeah, I went to Kinokuniya. It was really nice, actually. Of course, you know, all the weebs were there, but, um, uh, they had a really big, like, upstairs section. It wasn't really upstairs. It was, like, part of, like, the same building. There wasn't really any, like, shut off or door you had to go through. It was kind of like an upper terrace you went on, and they had, like, all the, like, um, Japanese, like, manga that was, um, like, not translated, so I stayed up there for a while because it was pretty cool. If anyone knows, my my goal is as a person is to, like, learn how to speak Japanese fluently. So then I don't need those subtitles, man! <laughs> so this was actually, this is a little bit, but, um, my family and I, we went to the, some, it's like Glass Garden by, I think, Chihuly or something. And it was so nice. It, you can't really understand what's going on through here because his artwork is so abstract, but basically he... Blue, this guy, he, he blows glass, and he made these amazing, like, abstract, um, sculptures and things out of them, and it was so amazing. It, like, you can't really tell, but, like, here are, like, the forms and stuff that he did. If you want to go look it up, I'll maybe put down a link below, but I just sat there just kind of exploring the form and just, like, the freeness, and then there's a lady looking at it, just, like, the freeness of the pieces that he made, and it was so nice, just how I was able to just let go and actually like you know just study the shadows study how he made these different forms and then there's a cute little tree outside i really like trees and kind of using that same flowiness i kind of went in and just kind of just doodled it real nice and simple and fast oh there you go chihuly's glass garden i felt like i died and went to heaven honestly that is still accurate today number four um oh and then i think this was continued people at the garden and glass and then there we there was a time in, when we sat in there where there was like a um uh, like a video kind of like a documentary about like talking about his works and what he did all this effort that he put into it. There's a bunch of people sitting down and watching, so I sat there and I watched and I drew them all. Most of them were all ladies, Asian ladies, and there's the old typical white lady. I actually really like this drawing. Um. It's not really anything special, but I just like how smooth I was able to get with this. This one was a little, uh, I don't know, just a little doodle from my imagination. And then we went out to lunch, which was nice. 
And then another person that was sitting down. This one isn't too good, but, you know. And then, oh yeah, I also went to the Space Needle, of course, you know. All the touristy things. And there's a person there, I swear, she looked just like Emma Watson. She was just standing there, and I was like, wow. <laughs> like, you really look like Emma Watson. I didn't say that to them, but they just really did. And then some more doodles. Um, there's not really much you can tell by this, but I drew some of the buildings that you could see outside of the Space Needle. It's very messy. I kind of gave up halfway here, so I... I don't know if you can if you guys can make anything out of this. And more buildings. And then a person they doodled in the corner because I was like, wow, I cannot draw architecture for my life. And a couple of... There's like a couple there. I just drew... I only had time to draw the lady and I just kind of doodled the guy a bit. And then there's like a, a two guys in front of us. They're a little on the old side, I guess. Um, and they were like <laughs> really drunk. So they were really loud. But I kind of drew the back of him. And there's more of that Emma Watson lady, except I kind of characterized her a little more. She had a very long nose, so it was very pretty. And she had a very red jacket on. So, yeah. So, these are all the things that I did. Um, oh, wow, I was just staring in the frame of this, and then I just realized, haha, look what's in the corner. Roboprom. That was a fun time. That was robotics. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. This is a quick, short little video, but hopefully you guys enjoyed um, if you guys want me to make some more of these, because I don't have a sketchbook right now, then, like, tell me. Or if you want to learn how to make these, I can do a short tutorial on them. They're super easy, or I can just link you to one if I'm too lazy. But these are good for zine, or zines if you want to do them, or just make simple sketches. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So, bye-bye!